being a young guy coming in, you know, his his problem was confidence early, and to see him grow up a little bit this season, and you know, start to play better and better, you know, you, it's, you just feel good for those type of guys because those you play with them and they're your teammates and you care about them. Hey Taylor, I know it was it was still J T. Barrett giving the pregame offensive team speech before the Big Ten championship. Is he still the one doing that? Did he do that before the Sugar Bowl? Yeah, he did, and. Um, even though he's younger than a lot of guys on the team, uh, you know, people have said it before, he's just a natural leader. And he's just a guy that you'll rally around even though he's not playing. And, um, you know, you want to hear what he has to say, a guy like that, because he's well respected. So, you know, when, when he talks, you listen, you know, just because he's not out there playing with us doesn't mean he's not a leader on this team. So, yeah, he still did do that for the, for the Alabama game. And, I'm sure, you know, for this next game, he's going to do it as well. He obviously helps Cardell in games. Mm -hmm. Is he able to help the offense as a whole, or is that a little too much to expect? Or is he like an assistant coach over there? Um, well, first of all, with his scooter on the sideline, I don't think he can really get around. But um, I think, you know, if he helps Cardell on the sideline, then Cardell can help the rest of the offense on the sideline. So it just kind of comes down from the top. So, um, you know, I think his focus is and his focus should be to help Cardell and get him ready because ultimately we have Coach Warner on the sideline helping us, uh, getting us ready. And, you know, we have, you know, me has played a lot of games. Pat's been, in, you know, last year in a couple, you know, big games. So we have guys, you know, that you can rally around. You were ready to ask about the north-south run game. And I'm kind of curious, you've had, I think, four runs of 50 yards or more in the last two games. Mm -hmm. What's it like as a team? That's like the ultimate teamwork play. Yeah. Right there, you got to block the plane attack. Zeke's usually got to make a guy miss. Uh -huh. It's got to be everybody coming together. Yeah. What's that feeling like as a team, as an offense, when you hit those plays? Because it's got to be almost the coolest thing you do, I have to guess. It's like when that opens yeah. Together. I mean, I think that's kind of a backbreaker for defenses. You know, you don't want to let teams run the ball on you. If, you know, 99% of the time, if you can run the ball on a team consistently, you're going to win that game. Um, and that is a great feeling, seeing, a, you know, an 85-yard run and, you know, 50-yard runs and all kinds of stuff against Wisconsin and Alabama. And, you know, like you said, it is, you know, team. Um, you know, the wide receivers have to block, the tight ends block. We have to execute properly. And, you know, we know if we get Zeke to the second level, there's not a lot of guys that are going to tackle him one-on-one. -on -one. And he's fast enough to outrun a lot of people. Are you excited when that comes up in film because you know it's going to be a play where everybody probably did their job like when you watch those, those runs again? Yeah, I mean, you know, even on that uh, 85 yard touchdown, honestly, there were a couple guys that didn't do what they were supposed to do. <laughs> but when you when you play hard, um, when you go hard, you know, even if you're not necessarily right, you know, a lot of times it'll work out. And, um, you know, I think Evan took out two guys on that play. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's you just you just play hard, and you know, especially with Zeke, he's the type of guy he's gonna play hard. And you get him, like I said, you get him to the second level. You know, with the type of athletes we have, um, you know, they're gonna get yards.